Hey everybody. God bless you all. We made it to another day. I'm here at this little spot here. It's a kind of little quiet place I decided to come to. I'm going to do a video here real quick on the uh, Tenth Commandment. Thou shall not covet. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into the detail of that here, but uh, you know, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor or the neighbor's property or any of his possessions or his wife or like uh, covetness. To covet, to be envious. Uh, you know. Who on this earth doesn't envy someone at one time or another? But we really shouldn't because all things come from from the Lord God Almighty who made everything. And he says, just ask and it shall be given. But we should not covet. We should not be envious. And, you know, a lot of people talk about envy as, you know, the, uh, the green eye of envy. And, uh, you know, what that has to do with is, uh, is actually sorcery. Did you know that? To be envious of another or jealous or to want what they have. You know, that falls under the category, uh, actually, of the evil eye. Anybody know what the evil eye is? Any of my children or relatives, you know what it is? You better research it. Because it falls under the category of uh, just what it says. Evil. Envy. Jealousy. To be envious of someone, maybe their talents or their gifts that the Lord has given them or maybe their possessions or their land or something that they own. Did you know when you do this, you are a Satan. You are a devil. Because when you do that, that is... A type of behavior of the devil, the evil ones. They envy, they hate, they don't like, they're jealous. Because it uh, has a lot to do with the jinn. And the jinn that give themselves over to envy and jealousy. When uh, the Lord God created human beings, you know... There was uh, already the angels and the jinn that were already in um, walking the earth, and the jinn, a lot of the jinn, were jealous because the Lord God gave man. They felt that man <laughs> had more than them, had more favor, had more gifts. Man had a soul. A man is a mini universe. The microcosm within the macrocosm, a small universe within the larger universe, and a lot of the, a lot of the the jinn, the spirits, were envious of what the Lord God gave man. And anybody's ever read the Quran, that was one of the main reasons that uh, you know Iblis, the devil, Satan, refused to bow down. When God told him to. And it was really a test on his uh, pride. He was very envious of Adam. And uh, sworn to destroy him. To deceive them. So when you are envious and you're jealous. You are of your father. The devil. And I pray right now Lord God you help all of us. All mankind walking this earth to help us and deliver us from our envies and our pettiness 
that we be more like you that we be the way you designed us to be and that none of the attributes of the saintins would be found within our characteristics envy is the evil eye and one of the prayers in the Quran was I seek shelter in Allah God most high from the evil of the enviers when they practice their envy so may God bless you and prosper you and if you're lacking or you want oh, <laughs> You take that up with your Lord. You ask. So, may we all be blessed. May this earth be beautiful again. And heal us of our infirmities and imperfections. I mean...